With Excitec Docs, you can bulk create sheets from a spreadsheet or you could use Dynamo to automate the process if you wish to. But in this example, we're going to use the user interface to create a new sheet. So we pick new sheet and then we're offered the templates from within the document management system. And it can populate some of the information for us. So it knows the project and it knows the company I'm working for. I'm going to give it the short description of FF Win Shed because it's the first floor window schedule that I'm creating. I'll fill in title block one, row one, and I'll leave the system to enter what it can for the remaining ones. The volume is the teaching block. And we're on level zero one because it's the first floor that we're doing the window schedule for. And the type in this case is an SH because it's a schedule. My role is an architect. And then all I need to do is hit create. Excitec Docs will bring in the template and populate it with other information that it can discern. So it's built up the drawing number according to ISO 19650. The suitability code has to be S0 and the revision P0101. It's identified that it's been drawn by Steve Granger. It knows the organization and that we're in the teaching block first floor. And of course, it's echoing at the top there that it's suitability code S0 and work in progress. In this example, we work to ISO 19650's naming convention, but you may have your own simpler naming methods for internal projects or perhaps be required to work to other naming standards. Creating a naming convention is simple with Excitec Docs, and here is the one that we've just used. It starts with the project code, and then we've got some static text, in this case a hyphen, followed by the originator code, another hyphen, and so on. If we scroll down, you'll see that ultimately it ends with a number sequence that's automatically calculated. It's as simple as that. 